Okay, today's video we're going to talk about how to do a good squat. Now the muscle groups involved in a good squat are primarily your quads, so your thigh muscles, and also your glutes or your bone muscles. But when you get a great squat and add a bit of weight eventually, it will work the back of your legs too, fit in the calves, and also your abs and your core. Well first let's talk about how you position your feet with a good squat. Now I think the key is when you do a good squat is to make sure you create enough space for your hips to, or your torso to move through your hips. Otherwise, if you're too close for your squat, so do a narrow squat, please, sir, uh, like you can. If you're too narrow, what will happen is the knees shoot forwards and you'll find that uh, just feels really wobbly and too, too, really much, too much pressure on your knees. So that's a kind of a knee squat. Uh, also, you'll tip forward, so your back does far too much work. You're a little wider apart from there, Karen. Uh, again, nothing wrong with these squats in general, but for this exercise, if we go wider, even wider, and you squat down now, um, you'll find that it works a lot more inside your thighs. And for a new, well, a new squatter, really, you want to make sure that your feet are a little closer together. I like to think about shoulders width apart. Pretty yeah. Pretty works for me. Yeah, so depending on how wide or how narrow your shoulders are, just, it, just think about the feeling of enough space for your uh, hips, for your torso to go through your hips. Next thing is where is the weight. The weight is all in those heels, and I feel like the toes are quite relaxed. Many years ago, I was teaching weight companies to go around and put my finger underneath people's toes to make sure that when they squat, that their toes aren't ripping the floor too much. So as you squat down, the in the heels, you'll find that you cannot necessarily lift your feet, your toes too high up off the floor. You want to feel they're quite loose. It's a lightness in the toes. Yeah, on, on, the, on, the, uh, on the floor. And that's pretty much a good squat. Last but not least, upper body, you want to feel that you're as upright as you can, feel you're riding the elevator down and you're not tipping too far forward with your upper body. What about the arms, Chris? Where are they going to go? Arms, the counterbalance, are going to be out down the middle. Uh, they can be about a size, eventually when you have some light weights, and then you can have the crisscross position over the top of your shoulders. But again, it's more to keep your upper body in line or upright, so if you sink down through your heels, you're not tipping too far forward. And what about depth? How far are we going? So depth is down to your own personal sort of preference and range as well. Because the lower you go, the greater the demand there is in technique. You might find sort of halfway squat is good for now. And uh, if you have any pain in the knee, as they just go to the point where you don't feel any pain, but there's nothing wrong with doing an absolutely full sort of, it's called ass to grass squat, which is all the way down to the bottom. It's kind of show you. So long as your technique is okay. So as long as no knee pain, technique's okay, then just go as low as you feel is comfortable. 